Okay, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that uh, aerobatic display, which was absolutely amazing. We're on to race 57. It's heat two, Senior B, Grand Dragons, the Open. And uh, in lane two, we've got Germany, lane three, United States, lane four, Australia, and lane five, Poland. Uh, things will start to hot up towards three o'clock with a, a whole raft of semi-finals will start to uh, occur. And then about four o'clock onwards, is a place not to be missed because we will go into a whole raft of grand finals leading up to the, f the penultimate race and uh, the end of this day's racing. So without further ado, I'm going to take you over to Murray Jones, race commentator, who is ready to join us for this next race, which is race 57. Hi, Murray. That's just right, 57. Here we go. Germany, United States, Australia. No, it can't be, 57. We've got five, five boats in this race. And on the left is Russia. So, what have we got? Being thrown again by something. I don't see Poland there. I don't think this is race 57, Murray. No. I think we've just had a bit of duff information. Yeah. Um, but we seem to have more teams oh, than we've got on our list. Yeah, five boats there. There's definitely five boats. We'll figure it out. Yeah. So, uh, goodness knows which, which I could say that we are off the main loop for um, information in this place. Hey. There's Poland. Murray, I think the extra person in this, but the extra team in this boat is Russia. For, that's what I'm getting ah, told. Okay. That's what I'm getting told. There's Poland on the picture now. Poland, Australia, yeah, Australia, United States, Germany, yes. So, Russia has been added in, um, into this race. Just some of the spot of information we didn't quite manage. However, now we've got a race on our hands. And this is the senior B, the over 50s, open. And this is the second heat of it. The first two will go through to the final, the others will have to fight it out in the semi-final. The United States. They're pretty well together. together. <coughs> oh, fuck it, my throat. Sorry about that. Russia a bit bread roll in there, Murray? No, no, no. <laughs> be lucky. Uh, Russia on the left seem to be um, showing people what to do. German team and on the right, Poland doing doing pretty well. But there's only one place where it really matters, that's the finishing line. How you get there is a different one all along. And then Yeah. And now Russia are certainly ahead of uh, Germany, United States are up there. Between Russia and the uh, United States, that's something we keep hear hearing about, don't we? And they're coming past the 500 point, and bang bang, Russia and the USA very close together. Murray, they're asking in the chat room if you could just talk a little bit louder because there's a few background noises and uh, they're finding it a little bit hard to pick us up at the moment. Okay, so I'm, I'm in a press room and people are busy talking with each other in the background. Um, and people going in and out with the local commentary. Right now, though, we're back on the picture. And uh, Russia and USA, um, Australia coming up a little bit on the others. Their strategy might be slightly different. And Poland, um, we've seen a Polish team looking less slightly disoriented last time. Um, and yet they were sort of up there with the others in the finish. And it's unusual to see, uh, 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 see, see Germany not doing so well in this one. Well, they can't have all of them, can they? Right, now I can just hear them in the background. I start hearing the drums coming along. And we're still there with Russia and the United States fairly close 
and probably just a bit behind them is Poland, Australia and then Germany. Well, the cameraman's decided that that's where the race is, uh, the race is, is going to be. So the USA are fairly close together with uh, Australia. Very close together. They're coming in close now. Must be, yes. End of the race. Oh, USA, USA, Russia. Bang, bang. Oh, yeah. Russia, USA. Australia, Poland, and Germany. In that order. That's the second heat of the Senior B Grand Dragons Open. That's the over 50s, the Grand Dragons. And the second you see will be the Silver Dragons. Of the over 60s. So that's another close race. We find that um, as we go along, the very first heats and things of the day, you, you, there's a bit more space. And um, gradually we get to the point where um, people are qualified for the next, uh, next rung up, as it were, and they are all very much closer. And this is a wonderful, uh, wonderful event. I'm uh, just seeing there's going to be a prize giving shortly. Welcome out, welcome outside. We're down at the uh, medal podium and we're waiting for the next race. There's no boat lined up at the moment, so it just gives us an opportunity to update you on uh, what's going on and uh, what's about to happen, which is the um, another medal ceremony. So you can hear the announcer asking for Mr. Bob Morrows, the IDBF Vice President, to come down to assist with the medals uh, because the crowds are gathering. Some of the teams are already waiting to come onto the roster. And, and um, what would be great is to know, if we can, from my team, do we know what the medal presentation is that's coming up? Because it would be lovely to know. And um, I tell you what, I'm standing near some um, absolutely beautiful, beautiful golden trophies, which are the which are the uh, Nations Cup, and uh, there is a couple of other cups that we will feature and explain to you later in the program what they actually are. But they are absolutely magnificent. I know you can't see them at the moment, but we will try and bring you pictures later to uh, explain and maybe Murray can explain a little bit more about what those cups are but um, I think one of them is about uh, uh, a cup for the uh, the most points uh, accumulated by any of the teams uh, uh, over this whole championships um, would be good to let you know while we're waiting for the medal ceremony to uh, take place um, what's happening a bit later on because uh, all afternoon uh, there has been lots of heats taking place to um, get us prepared for semi-final time and there is semi-finals aplenty uh, all afternoon so if I could just uh, say that around we're running more or less on schedule so please don't leave your seats or wherever you happen to be if you're list if you're watching on your iPhones or your iPads or um, on online or whether you've plugged your um, your machine your computer into a big TV at home or maybe somebody somewhere has put yourself on a big live screen with in the community village hall and you're all gathering to watch friends and family who have been competing from a, a local village or something like that. I know I was talking to the USA, one of the USA coaches, and he said there were 17 villages back in the States all watching, glued to the screens to see their guys uh, try and win medals. So, um, wh however you're watching it, I hope you're enjoying, I hope you're really enjoying the, uh, the action because, you know, we, we can't get enough of it. Uh, but there will be a lot of semi-finals coming up about three o'clock where we'll start with the Junior A and the B Open. Then about four o'clock, uh, there will be Senior A Master Dragons Open Women. But um, we are now waiting for the, uh, I think the presentations for this next for this next um, uh, uh, championship um, is about to come out now Slovakia. and it is Slovakia it's the under 24 open I'm told and it is Slovakia coming out first 
to some lovely music, and it's and it's and it's and it's nice to see that they're about to get on the podium. I think this is the bronze medal team coming on now. So I'm going to get away and let you see these lovely people, these under 24s from Slovakia, getting onto the podium now. Some of the officials are coming down to prepare to give these awards, these beautiful bronze medals to a well-deserving under-24 Slovakia team. Oh, oh, to be there with them. Well, we are, but to be, oh, to be 24 or under again. What I wouldn't do. Well, I don't know. I'm having a pretty good time at 48. I think life begins at 48, actually doesn't it? In fact, all those 48-year-olds in the chat room that agree with me, can you, can you tell Windsor and maybe we can form a new club? Yeah? So, Slovakia just delighted to receive their medals and waiting in the wings is Hungary. And Peter Jarosi, uh, a proud uh, Hungarian Dragon Boat president, as well as an IDBF vice president, is with them and uh, just talking to them and I'm sure he's very proud to see uh, his under 24s win what I think is the silver medal. Phil, how, um, what are you seeing from where you can see on the, uh, 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 the, the medal roster? Can you see these guys? I don't think Phil wants to talk to him at the moment, but that's okay. It's nothing unusual. He's um, I would like to quite talk to you, Rich. He's quite. Ha he's quite. Um, People can hear me now. Okay. So non Non-committal. Non so, so Peter Jarosi is now walking, uh, walking towards the uh, the cameras where I am actually. But uh, I think the Hungarians are about to come out, and hopefully we might be able to capture this whole medal presentation before the next race starts, which. I'm just looking to see, they're still lining up at the start, so we might be okay for a little while and we might even capture the whole medal ceremony because really we're here for the racing um, and we don't want you to miss out on the racing, but equally it would be nice to see the whole medal presentation. And here comes Hungary, Hungary, the host nation of the World Championships, this 11th World Nations Dragon Boat Championships in Szeged, Hungary. and. The home crowd are giving an extra clap to these young people as they proudly walk towards the silver podium to receive their medals. They're very tall, a lot of the uh, uh, guys in this team. Incredibly tall. I think they're well over six feet, probably six feet four, a lot of them. And uh, maybe with those extra long arms, they were able to power their way and make sure that the silver medal was secured for Hungary in this under-24 competition. Just listen to the noise of those crowds. There is a lot of flash photography going on around the crowds. They're all absolutely delighted. I wish I could show you a, a shot of the, of the crowds um, smiling away at seeing their under 24 uh, um, children perhaps um, win a silver medal and of course a lot of them down here will be mums and dads who are proud to see their son or their daughter receive a medal for their country something that would be great to put on the job description in future job applications that you represented your country and was a medalist and you know just just wearing that medal tells you something about you as a character as an individual that you had the discipline to train when other people wanted to go partying, you trained and went out on that water or went to the gym for th your third session of a day and um, maybe made a lot of personal sacrifices to um, ensure that you got fast enough and strong enough and your technique was good enough so that you got in that team. And these guys did. I don't actually know the names of the organizing committee that um, are presenting these medals, but they are two of the um, uh, organizing committee on the from the Hungarian Dragon Boat Federation who of course did organize all of this so they'll be very proud and we've got a, a lot of noise now from the crowd Let's see.
They're getting really loud. Come on, more! I am talking to the crowd. I'm asking them to cheer and they're getting louder. So leave me alone! Heck, what do I have to do? I'm trying to please you in there. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Gold medal. It's gold medal time. Team Canada are coming through, Phil, but we have another race in progress. Do we want to switch to the race? I'm going to hand you back to Murray Jones for this race. Now, at the same time, we have a race. Now, this is the juniors again. Juniors um, open. And uh, race 58. Unfortunately, we don't have the list, so I've got to identify the crews when we see them. There's, of course, the Hungarians. Easy to look at them. Somebody's been left behind already. Oh, I've got a blank screen on there. On my big screen here, it can come back again. Hungry. Very close up there with who's that on the mm. well, That's the uh, Czech Republic. Their colours on their shoulder. We've been fairly well drilled again. But Hungary, and I can't, haven't seen close up of those on the right hand side yet. Will that be Poland with some more juniors? Wait for the cameraman to take a look at those. Check, check, probably been left behind. The very high rate of striking there on the right. And I think the person doing the the running, running with the um, updating lists and things, they must have changed because the new one doesn't know where we are. I suppose it takes a while to get up to the place where they're produced and then we might miss another race that's not good and what are they up to now cameraman hasn't focused on that that that, that team on the right but they have both now looks like they're going to they're going to win this one but um no, here they are coming up to the finish Lots of people watching, looking around elsewhere. Oh, I can't see who that is. Could that be Poland? It's a mixed junior team. Uh, Hungary are winning this one. That's the semi-final, the first semi-final. Oh, the boats, when they finish there, they're wobbling around a bit. Cruise must be there's somebody very tired at the end of that one. Now oh, I see they've only got 18 in that uh, that boat there, the jack boat. But the crew should be um, trained when they're in this position after a race, just to drag the tips of the blades in the water and uh, push the boat straight when it's um, when it starts rolling a bit. Uh, some very tired people in the back of that uh, that boat on the far side. And in the meantime, we've just had the. What have we got there now? Hung oh, this is the uh, Junior AB Open Race 58, Hungary 4:13.3, Poland it was 4:14.2. 4.13.3, 4.14.2, Czech Republic, 4.30.2, Hungary, Poland, Czech Republic, the Eastern European gang of uh, boats coming along there, out of the standard Junior A Open and Junior B Open combined in that race. That's the result for 58.
And we've got it lined up for race 59, and some of these logo come up on the screen there now. I don't know what that is. Yeah. Well, they're lined. Yes, they're lining up again for the start of race 59. Brilliant. Thank you. That was a fantastic uh, medal ceremony. You must be really proud. Yeah. <laughs> on. Hungry. Yes, I Yeah. Am. What's your name? My name is Nora. Nora, what's your feeling right now, seeing your team? Have you been involved with this team? This Korean team, and I was that this way. <laughs> They're the future. Uh, Hannah, excuse me. No. Yeah. I, I am cheer man of the team. Yeah. Oh, well, congratulations. That was well deserved. Well deserved. Okay, thank you.